The Dorn VA Medical Center is continuing to increase its outreach now to our veterans, and today the center held an event to help veterans get ready for the approaching winter. Our Georgia Ree Godfrey was there. She found out how this event will benefit veterans and some challenges that veterans are still facing despite all these efforts. Everybody thinks a veteran, that all the veterans get all these benefits, and they don't. They don't all get, they don't all get 100% qualification to get these big high dollar checks every month. Um, some of our veterans get very little to live on. More than 300 veterans came through the voluntary services stand down. By one o'clock, the tables filled with clothing, winter gear and toiletries were almost empty. Vincent Brown says the items are much needed, but it doesn't help solve the problem many veterans like him are facing. Brown says he's been waiting since the late 80s for some kind of sign that his records were found and his disability was being processed. So now they're telling me they're going to deny me until I can prove that I got hurt while I was in the service. The road from combat to civilian life isn't always easy, which is where voluntary services comes in. And sometimes it might take a while for them to get their, start getting their check. So in that month or two, we can give them a little bit of stuff to keep them going, to keep them surviving until they start getting their check where they can afford to go out and get those items that they need. But even though dozens of veterans are facing challenges when it comes to being compensated for their services, they say joining the service is still a choice they'd make again. I went for serving this country to protect this country and protect my family so they will not be going through things like they're going through overseas right now. And I would never change that. I would go back. If I was able and fit, I'd go back right now. In Columbia, George Godfrey, 7 News.